Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening, welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipakshi Kurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 9th of March. Confirmed cases of coronavirus climb to 43 in India. Rockets fired as Ashraf Ghani takes oath as Afghanistan president. An Islamist hurled stones and shoes at Women's Day marchers in Pakistan. And now for all the details, India's Health Ministry on Monday confirmed that 43 cases of novel coronavirus infection have been reported in the country so far. Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan, who chaired a high-level meeting over the rising cases of coronavirus in India, said the government is prepared to deal with the situation. India's Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan on Monday chaired a high-level meeting with Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal and other top officials over the rising cases of coronavirus in the country. The number of coronavirus cases in India rose to 43 as four more cases were reported from northern Uttar Pradesh province, Jammu and Kashmir, New Delhi and southern Kerala province each. Harshwadhan outlined the various measures that are being taken by the states and the centre to prevent the disease's spread, which includes tourist under surveillance, strengthened labs and manpower, and screening of passengers. India mandated universal screening at all airports, major seaports and minor seaports and land borders, given the rise of coronavirus imports. Kalta Khamai was 39 positive cases. Te, abhi aaj... चार उसमें केसेस और ऐड हुए हैं तो अभी हमारे पास 43 पॉजिटिव केसेस जिसमें से तीन ठीक होकर केरल के जा चुके हैं घर अपने मीनवाइल इंडियन स्टॉक्स ऑन मंडे स्लम टू देयर लोवेस्ट इन नियरली 17 मंथ्स ट्रैकिंग ग्लोबल मार्केट्स एज पैनिक ओवर द इकोनॉमिक फॉल आउट ऑफ द कोरोना वायरस आउटब्रेक इंटेंसिफाइड एंड ऑल प्राइसेस प्लमेटेड टू 30% Globally, the coronavirus has now infected over 107,000 people, claiming more than 3,300 lives and disrupting business supply chains. Two terrorists were neutralized by security forces in an encounter in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. India blames neighboring Pakistan of arming and helping terrorists infiltrate across the border to spread unrest in the Kashmir Valley. Security forces gunned down two terrorists in an encounter in Shopian district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Monday. The encounter broke out as security forces had launched a cordon and search operation in the Reban area of Shopian on Monday morning over specific information about the presence of terrorists. Search operations were still underway in the area and the identities of the slain terrorists were being ascertained till the last reports came in. तो पुलिस आर्मी सीआरपीएफ सारे लाख कोर्टन कर लिए आज मॉर्निंग में वहां पर फायरिंग शुरू हो गया और इनकरन इनकाउंटर चला उसमें दो मिलिटेंट मारे गए हैं इंडिया हैज लॉन्ग ब्लेम नेबरिंग पाकिस्तान ऑफ आर्मिंग एंड एडिंग टेररिस्ट टू इनफिल्ट्रेट अक्रॉस द बॉर्डर टू स्प्रेड अनरेस्ट इन कश्मीर वैली पाकिस्तान हाउएवर डिनाइज द एलिगेशंस in news from Afghanistan, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani was sworn in for a second term on Monday as his rival Abdullah Abdullah held a parallel inauguration that could plunge the country deeper into crisis ahead of peace talks with the Taliban. Presidential inauguration ceremony was disrupted by the sound of suspected rockets falling near the palace. Ashraf Ghani continued on with his speech as security rushed to surround him and invitees ran away from the sound. The ceremony was attended by a number of foreign diplomats, including U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalilzad, before the pandemonium erupted.
Members of Islamist groups pelted participants of the Women's March with stones, shoes and sticks as they marched through Pakistan's capital on Sunday in support of gender equality to mark International Women's Day. Islamist groups have long opposed such movements in the country, calling them a threat to core values of the society. Islamists pelted campaigners, including women and men, with stones, shoes and sticks as they marched through Pakistani capital Islamabad on Sunday to mark International Women's Day. The incident happened as a large number of marchers had gathered for the Aurat or Women's March in support of gender equality and against patriarchy and misogyny. Meanwhile, dozens from the Red Mosque Brigade, consisting of several local militant groups, were also staging a rival rally just across from the Women's March venue. To avoid clashes, authorities had erected a tent between the two rallies. Police blocked the Islamists as they tried to break through a cordon to attack the marchers. A police official said no one was injured in the incident. The violation जो है वो उल्मा की तरफ से हुई है उनका टाइम जो था तीन बजे से पहले पहले था और वो साढ़े चार से पांच बजे तक रहे ऑल दो वो कह रहे हैं कि बारिश की वजह से हुआ लेकिन ये गैर कानूनी है और इसके इस पे इनके खिलाफ एक्शन होगा दूसरी तरफ से भी प्रोवोकेशन की गई इश्तेल अंगेजी की गई कुछ ऐसे नारे लगाए गए जिसकी वजह से ये इश्तेल में आए और उन्होंने फिर कुछ पथराव किया the Islamists had earlier issued threats to the women's march accusing them of what they said promoting obscenity the organizers of Islamabad's Aurat March expressed their disappointment over the lack of security promised to them by the authorities. Meanwhile, marches in Lahore and other parts of the country were reportedly held peacefully amid tight security. Moving on, a protest was held recently by former employees of Logging and Sawmills Corporation, a subsidiary of the Pakistan government in the illegally occupied region of Pakistan administered Kashmir. The employees demanded their outstanding salaries and called for an indefinite protest against the corporation if their demands are not met. Former employees of Logging and Sawmills Corporation, a Class e held a demonstration against the authorities for non-payment of their dues in Muzaffarabad city, an illegally occupied region of Pakistan administered Kashmir recently. A classy, a government subsidiary, had shut down its operations around two years ago. Protesters held a sit-in, highlighting their plight, asking for their pension, while others demanded their outstanding salaries. Their lives, they said, have become nothing short of miserable as they are forced to live in a state of abject poverty and their children are forced to drop out of school. A classy was generating substantial revenue from extraction of timber until the felling of trees was banned in 1997. The company continued to operate till March 2018 and was finally dissolved owing to its liability. Despite protesting for nearly two years now, they alleged that there has been no reprieve in sight and authorities have turned a blind eye. As novel coronavirus, which originated from China's Wuhan city, is spreading like wildfire globally, people in Bangladeshi capital Dhaka were seen taking measures to avoid the spread. Bangladesh on Sunday reported its first three cases of the deadly virus. People in Bangladesh were seen rushing to buy face masks on Monday after first cases of coronavirus were confirmed in the country a day earlier. The Institute of Epidemiology, Disease Control and Research confirmed on March 8 that three cases of COVID-19 or coronavirus were detected in the South Asian country. The affected people aged between 20 and 35 include two who returned home from Italy recently. The other was a family member of one of those two. Gotta 
Meanwhile, Bangladeshi Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said her government is prepared to tackle the virus and has urged people not to panic. Authorities in the country have strengthened the screening of travellers and more than 400,000 people have been screened at the airports and other border entry points so far. আক্তান্তে মানুষ এখন ভীত সন্ত্রস্ত যার পরিপ্রেক্ষিতে গতকালকের বাংলাদেশেও তিনজন করোনা ভাইরাসের রোগী ধরা পড়ে এবং সেই সতর্কতামূলক অবস্থানের জন্য আজকে আমরা সবাই মাস্ক পরার একটা এক্সপার্টস हैव ওয়ান্ট ইট মে বি হার্ড টু কন্টেইন আ স্প্রেড অফ দ্য ইলনেস ইন ডেন্সলি পপুলেটেড সাউথ এশিয়া ওয়ার অলমোস্ট অল কান্ট্রিজ हैव রিপোর্টেড দ্য প্রেজেন্স অফ দ্য ডেডলি করোনা ভাইরাস নাও Authorities in India's southern Kerala province began culling of domesticated birds and hens on Sunday as part of government's precautionary measures following the outbreak of bird flu. The outbreak was reported last week. Authorities in India's southern Kerala province began a three-day process of culling chickens and other birds on Sunday to contain a bird flu virus of the H5N1 strain after the avian influenza was reported in the area. Two areas of Kosigode city reported two cases of avian influenza in poultry farms after which the decision to cull the birds was taken. This is the first case of the bird flu in Kerala after the outbreak in 2016 in Alafusa. Avian influenza commonly called bird flu is an infectious viral disease of birds especially wild waterfowl such as ducks and geese. Wild birds can carry the virus without showing any symptoms and transmit it to poultry through their feathers or feces. ഈ അസുഖത്തെ ഈ ഉരവട ഉരവട തന്നെ നശിപ്പിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയാണ് സർക്കാർ തീരുമാനിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത്. അപ്പോൾ അതിൽ ഇതിന്റെ കോഴി വർഗ്ഗങ്ങളെല്ലാം അതിന്റെ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റുകൾ മുട്ട ഇറച്ചി ഇതിന്റെയൊക്കെ വ്യാപനം ഒക്കെ ഇതോടെ ഈ സ്ഥലത്ത് തന്നെ 1 കിലോമീറ്റർ റേഡിയസിൽ എല്ലാം നശിപ്പിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ഒരു സ്ട്രാറ്റജി ആണ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഉള്ളത്. Even flu can spread to humans and can trigger person to person transmission. according to experts though india has seen nearly half a dozen outbreaks of bird flu in poultry in past two decades no human cases have been reported since at least 2003 as the celebrations of the festival of colors start a week in advance people in northern mathura city marked its arrival with a massive annual gathering people in eastern west bengal province also celebrated the festival with much fervor The famous Banke Bihari Temple in Vrindavan town of India's northern Mathura city on Monday witnessed massive gathering on the occasion of Choti Holi celebrated a day prior to the actual Hindu festival of colors The temple dedicated to Hindu Lord Krishna was jam packed with devotees who came from across the country just to witness the annual grandeur during Holi also known as Indian festival of spring The festival which is celebrated across India with smearing colors on each other and in many other ways symbolizes the victory of good over evil and is a day to forget forgive and rebuild broken relationships Isse sundar nazara kuch nahi ho sakta hum bachpan se TV mein media mein newspaper mein dekhte the ki Vrindavan ki Holi kaisi hoti hai aaj hame pata chala ki Vrindavan ki Holi kaisi hoti hai iska koi jod nahi hai और बहुत आनंद परमानंद है ये इससे ऊपर का आनंद कुछ नहीं हो सकता मीन वाइल अ कल्चरल प्रोग्राम वॉज ऑल्सो ऑर्गेनाइज एज पार्ट ऑफ होली सेलिब्रेशन इन वेस्ट बेंगाल प्रोविंस वेयर पार्टिसिपेंट्स इंक्लूडिंग बोथ एडल्ट एंड चिल्ड्रेन ड्रेस्ड इन ट्रेडिशनल अटायर्स सैंग एंड डांस टू द ट्यून्स ऑफ सेलिब्रेटरी म्यूजिक होली इज एन एंशियंट हिंदू रिलीजियस फेस्टिवल बट हैज ऑल्सो बिकम पॉपुलर विद नॉन हिंदूज The celebrations of the festival start a week in advance and continue till the final day of the festival. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Confirmed cases of coronavirus climb to 43 in India. Rockets fired as Ashraf Ghani takes oath as Afghanistan president. An Islamist hurled stones and shoes at Women's Day marchers in Pakistan.
Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.